so the important thing is how you form the tpm transition probability matrix if you do a small error in the matrix initially if you do wrong assumption then the total problem will get collapsed so it is very important carefully you have to check so in i think for your exam point of view mcq they will won't tell you to solve for a small mcq they will give a question and you have to find the tpm transition matrix for the initial conditions for big problems maybe they will ask uh, some pure probabilities or conditional probabilities i think hope this is very easy one so a salesman a salesman territory consists of three cities a b c so a salesman is selling something in the three cities a b c first condition he never sells in the same city on successive days so on any successive days the guy will never go to the same city okay this is the first condition for our matrix if e if he sells in a then next day he will go to city b for sure that means if he select today in a next day sure he will go for b however if he sells in b if he sells in sorry not b either either in b or c either city b or c the next day the next day he is twice as likely he is twice as likely to sell in a sell in a as in the other city that means suppose he is selling in b today next day he is twice likely to go to a than c similarly if he is selling c in today next day he, have, he give more preference twice the preference to a than b okay in the other city so now they are asking in the uh, this is the question in the long run so long run means steady state probability we are going to use pi in the long run how often e sell in each cities so they are asking the probability for each cities now your turn students you have to tell the matrix okay now i'll tell let xn let xn represents the story blah 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 let xn represents a salesman sale pattern okay these are all stories okay how many states we have we have three states a b c we will take in this order a b c okay now let us go for the matrix as i said always this is present here is future we will start with present and future so the states present state a b c future state is also a b c now students it's your turn fill the matrix see the question and fill the matrix okay what is the first condition said to us he never sells in the same city on successive days so today is present what is tomorrow is the future i have given the clue also yes student what is this value today he is selling in a tomorrow 100% what you will not do not sell in a not sell in a then what is the probability of selling today in a and tomorrow in a you know we are seeing today and predicting future right okay. today is 100% but uh, in the matrix now we are going from present to future matrix we have to put zero then what else will be zero b b c c because today he goes here b he will not go so we have filled this then what is the next step if he sells in a the next day he will go to city b for sure so now today he is in a the next day he will go to b if he go to b what happened to c zero he cannot zero. travel to c so he cannot travel to c 100% sure if he go to b a then he will go to b. done next c however if e is in either b or c today either b or c then the next day he likes to go a twice the other city okay now uh, let us see so you see there are three cities what is the probability you will go equally likely equally likely means the probability should be the same if e is in either b or c next day he like twice to go to a than the other suppose he is in city b he like twice to go to a that means the remaining probability is 1 by 3 similarly if he is in city c then also he like twice to go to a than the other city that's its true very good okay done so now they asked only for the long run okay this problem is for 
only long run they don't ask any conditional probability sequence of probabilities or pure probability so initial condition is not needed someone initially asked in the class sir if initial condition is not given in this problem we don't need the initial condition because we are going to find only the long run okay so what we have to say steady state distribution steady state distribution and this is like a very quite interesting topic okay steady state distribution so i have uh, three cities here either i can take pi a pi b pi c some students feel sir it will be little awkward for us so i can take this problem i will deal with pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 uh, to evaluation it will be easy okay so let pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 be the steady state uh, probability distribution of the markov chain so we know the relation pi p equal to pi okay let us take the matrix pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 we have found 1 0 0 1 0 2 by 3 0 1 by 3 thank you so this is equal to pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 we miss the important god probability sum of the probability is going to be 1 this is going to useful in all the problems most of the problem. okay let us keep this now let us uh, equate this so that uh, we will get the three equations the corresponding equations from the matrix let us write the three equations and rewriting the equations from the total probability we know that phi 1 plus phi 2 plus phi 3 equal to 1 from the matrix we get the three equations rewriting this 2 pi 2 plus 2 pi 3 is equal to 3 pi 1 3 pi 1 plus phi 3 is equal to 3 pi 2 and finally phi 2 is equal to 3 pi 3 So let us take this as equation two, three, and four. So now our aim is to find pi one, pi two, pi three. It is not possible with these three equations every time. So we have to get the help of total probability equal to one. From these four equations, we are going to find pi one, pi two, and pi three. First, let us substitute four in three. When you substitute four in three, three pi one. Plus pi three is equal to three times three pi three. So rewriting this, we'll be getting a new equation. Simplifying this equation, three pi one is equal to nine pi three minus pi three. That is, pi one is going to be eight by three pi three. So we get the relation pi one in terms of pi three, pi two in terms of pi three. So now substituting these two relations. In equation one, we'll be getting the another substituting these two relations in equation one, we'll be getting the answers of pi three. So pi one plus pi two plus pi three equal to one. Eight by three pi three plus three pi three plus pi three equal to one. So simplifying this, we will be getting pi three is equal to eight by twenty. So when pi three is equal to eight by twenty, we know the relation pi one. So therefore, my pi one is equal to eight by three into eight by twenty. So we will be getting substituting the relations of pi one and pi two in terms of pi three in equation one. That is, sum of probability is equal to one. We will be getting eight by three pi three plus three pi three. Plus pi three is equal to one. Simplifying, we'll be getting pi three is equal to three by twenty. So once you get pi three equal to three by twenty, immediately substitute here in pi one. So pi one is equal to eight by three into three by twenty. So we can get pi one is equal to eight by twenty. And similarly, we can able to find pi two. Since pi two is going to be three times pi three, that is three by twenty pi three from this relations. Next, we are going to conclude the results. So, in the long run, phi, I am having two by five, nine by twenty, three by twenty. That is nothing but zero point four, zero point four five, zero point one five. This is for state A, B, and C. So what we conclude in the long run, the salesman will travel forty percent to city A, 
and then 45% to city B. Similarly, 15% to city C. So now you have to check the question. Whatever it is asked to you for the long run, you have to mention the corresponding answer. Thank you.